All right, a while ago, Aborted Soul was asking for recommendations. So books, movies, music, whatever. And so I sort of made a short list. I don't have a lot of hard copies of books anymore. Pretty much switched to digital with my PDA these days. But uh, I do have a, a short list because I don't know what you've read. Um, and a lot of stuff in other videos responding to yours, as well as even you responding to your own with the list of books and, you know, all the typical Dawkins, Carl Sagan kind of stuff. You've read probably a lot of the same stuff I have already, so it's sort of hard to, to make a list of things that I think you might like that you haven't read. But a uh, short list of things, I guess. Uh, my list is a little strange, but that's okay. Start off with Dave Barry. It's not taking this sitting down. It's just weird, nothing to do with sort of intellectual thinking or anything like that. Just a hilarious book. If you think about all the, the weirdness in the world, basically. Crazy, crazy things. Um, really, anything by Mark Twain. Um, especially the complete short stories of Mark Twain. It's a lot of really great stuff in there, if you haven't read it. Um, Oh, um, book I read not too, too long ago, sometime last year, Schrodinger's Kittens and the Search for Reality by John Grisbin. Very interesting stuff, the quantum mechanics, probability theory, things like that. Um, in that same vein, probably not for you, but for anyone that sort of has no idea... Or, or no background in, in quantum theory or physics or anything like that. There's a great old book called Introducing Time. This is actually the old edition. I think a new one came out sometime this year or last year. But it's made basically like comic book style things all the way through it. Just explaining theories on time, relativity, Newtonian physics, all the different sort of gradual history things and that's a very interesting sort of starter book and doesn't have a lot of answers but has a lot of questions so you go and find other books to, to learn more about what interests you um, so the most recent hard like hard copy book that I bought actually is the mezzanine which is really weird it's basically a story that takes place in a guy's head on his way up uh, one level of escalator. And it's just entirely in his mind. It's almost, it's probably 50 or 60 percent footnote. You know, see, a lot of the pages look kind of like where the footnote starts, like three or four lines into the page and goes and continues, like on through into the next page. It's sort of all over the place, but very, very interesting book. Um, well, um, I made a video not too, too long ago about the book The Heretic, and I would suggest that for anyone who, who hasn't read it. Very, very good book. You know, all about um, sort of hackers and cyberpunk stuff mixed with crime, mystery, and, and sort of morality versus ethics and all sorts of things. But, but very, very fun stuff. Um, that's it for books, I guess. As for movies, um, I have no idea what your taste in movies is, so that's kind of hard. But just some, some very random things from the selection of movies that I have. I'm a movie whore, so I have too many movies. But a uh, combination of watching Naked Lunch and then Existence, both by David Cronenberg, very, very sort of mind-blowingly bizarre and interesting movies. If you haven't seen either one of them, you definitely got to check it out. Uh, as well as the movie Penn and Teller Get Killed. I know I, I'm a Penn and Teller fanboy, so I got a lot of Penn and Teller stuff. But Penn and Teller Get Killed, their old movie from the 80s, it's just, it's pointlessly brilliant. Um, it's just so weird and not sort of a Hollywood movie style at all. It's very, very bizarre. 
and we got to check that out. Um, pretty much the same thing with Pool Hall Junkies, I guess. We're just an independent film uh, about uh, a bunch of people at a pool hall and and different things. It's very very interesting stuff, especially if you like pool. But even if you don't, you know, sort of action-packed comedy and craziness and all sorts of things. Um, also, what else do we got? Oh, Operation Takedown, um, a movie not too, too old now, I guess, uh, about Kevin Mitnick and his arrest and the whole Kevin Mitnick story. Um, and then going along with that is Freedom Downtime, which is basically the behind-the-scenes version made by Emmanuel Goldstein and the people at 2600 Magazine. It's like a hacker magazine, basically. Um, and sort of to counterbalance the Hollywood dramatized version of the story that's in Operation Takedown with sort of behind-the-scenes facts and little things and, and just sort of documentary style things, and it's just, it's, a lot of my list is just weird and cool, basically, I find, I, I don't know if crazy people interest me or, or what, but, and the last one of the movies on my short list here is The Boondock Saints, wasn't really very popular when it came out, um, very small, budgeted movie, um, a couple of famous people in it, but not, not much, a lot of sort of no-name actors. And it's just sort of about these two guys, these two brothers, that hear God's voice, oddly enough, for a movie that I like. And they sort of go on a mission to rid the world of any evil that they encounter. This sort of an ethical versus moral versus legal battle of, you know, not turning a blind eye to evils of the world that you see. It's like just very, very interesting and very bloody. Frankly, if you can get the unrated version and you have a good stomach for that sort of thing, definitely do that. So it's it's very, very well done. And it, it's pretty funny, too, in parts, but, but mostly it is an action movie. Um, yeah, as for listening, I don't listen to that much music, to be honest. Um, very eclectic listening style, you know. I'll listen to classical for a while, and then I'll switch to Weird Al, and, and then go to, like, Nightwish, or, like, I'm just all over the place. So I don't know, really, you know, recommendations for that sort of stuff. I would, though, suggest, if you haven't, to try listening to Pendulette's radio show. It's actually a podcast as well. It's just, like, a daily, hour-long radio show about whatever issues are going on. And a lot of times he has guests and, and things like that. A lot of libertarian issues and sort of debates about atheism or rational thinking or just and stuff like that and just very, very weird and interesting I guess again so yeah that's a very short list I guess um, if I had any idea what sort of movies you watched I might be able to get a little bit better of a list for you that's just sort of a very random selection of the different types of things uh, so there you go there's my recommendations.